down. One, two, three. Hello, hello, evening, hello. Teacher. Hello. Hi, Francisco. Good evening. Hi, students. How are you? Welcome to the class. Good evening. Miss Judith Dios, how's it going tonight? Going well? Yes, yeah, fine. Thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that. How about you? How about you, Francisco? I am sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I am fine. My day is very, very um, Esther, eh, Esther, um, stressful. Uh, stressful. 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 Uh, my my phone and not and not son your notification um young problem and not only uh, message in whatsapp uh, whatever <laughs> and you what is it today everything okay everything okay uh, i had a very busy day it was a very productive day as well for me and i am very happy to finalize my day with an English class with the intermediate level, which is one of my favorite classes, you know, teaching intermediate. I really love teaching intermediate. I like teaching basic, but uh, intermediate is one of my favorite levels. Uh, so thank you. How about you? How are you? Are you ready for your homework? Are you guys ready for your homework? Yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah! You comply with your homework. You, you see the difference now. You see the difference now between what you were telling me last night and the messages. The messages that you chatted today, they make a lot more logic. They have yeah. more sense. So you follow my idea, huh? Good job. Thank Let's get started. My pleasure, Michelle. Why don't we why don't we start with you, Ms. Barrientos? Tell us about okay. what you did your last vacation. <laughs> okay, hi guys. Good night. Uh, Good evening. Well. Good evening, sorry. <laughs> On my last vacation, I went to San Salvador with my mom, sister, niece, and boyfriend. We saw the carnival on the streets and we have a lot of fun with the clowns. After the carnival, we ate some churipanes and drank soda. I was very grateful because all my family was there. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Carnival, carnival. Okay. Nice. Congratulations. Outstanding job, Miss Michelle. So the pronunciation is good. Let's go yeah. with um, someone else. Let's go with uh, ladies, ladies, ladies. Let's just take advantage of the ladies. Miss Judith. Excuse me, I'm not ready yet. Unbelievable. I wouldn't <laughs> yes, believe that. Because just is coming to my house. <laughs> oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Later, later. Yes, yes. <laughs> let me go with, let me go with, Another lady, let me see. Regina, are you ready? Ms. Hernandez? It's okay, teacher. Go for it. Okay, good evening, guys. In my last vacation, we went with my, my family to the boardwalk, Puerto El Triunfo, Usulután. We did eat fish and soup food and delicious, but the weather was the very pleasant for me because it's hot. We didn't get on the boat. We just appreciate the view. We all had a happy time because we were a family. Around 4 p.m. we returned home and we did eat delicious pupusas. All right. Thank you so much, Is Iris. Thank you. Let's go with Miss Arias. Ingrid. Show us Hi, what you got. Evening. Okay. On my last vacation, I went to El Espino Beach in Usulután with my mom and my sister. In this place, 
we ate a frozen with coconut and tamarindo honey. I was very excited because it was my first vacation trip after the pandemic. And my sister was nervous about the sea because she saw a movie called Megalodon. I remember that we didn't eat fish, but we did eat shrimp with tomato sauce. By the way, it was a bit spicy. We didn't stay on the beach because nothing lasts forever. <laughs> All right. That sounds amazing. Since it is corrected, I don't have observations as far as grammar, but pronunciation. The only word you mispronounce is vacation. Everybody, repeat, vacation. Vacation. So vacation sounds a little Salvadorian style, so let's polish mm -hmm. that up. Everyone sound native, okay? Like Americans. Thank vacation. You. <laughs> My pleasure. Let me go with another lady. Um, how about how about Kimberly Fuentes? Nope. Good Activate. evening. Oh, good evening. Come on in. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, you have noise, you have noise in the background. Let's do it later, let's do it later, okay? Later we come back with you, okay? Deme un minuto, teacher. I know, I know, later, later, later. Let's go with Noemi, Noemi Estrada. Good evening. Hi there, go for it. Uh, my dreams. Mm. On my life vacation. Yeah. On my last vacation, I went to Los Naranjos on Sonate with my husband and my son. I prefer the mountain. I love the cold water, but I don't like the beach. Mm -hmm. We were eating gorilla meat in the lunch. In the afternoon, we were eating sandwich, fruit, and ranch orange juice. A cup of coffee with bread. Delicious tamales, the river in the dinner. In the night, we were singing karaoke. Enjoy my last vacation. Nice. Finish. Nice. Say karaoke. 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 Mm -hmm. Thanks. Karaoke. That's nice. Good job. I love it. Thanks. Thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. Anytime. Um, <laughs> Who else? Let me see another lady. I'm going with the ladies first. No preferences, but you know, later we go with the gentlemen. Don't get impatient. Uh, let me go with um, who? Let me see. Andrea already said it. What about Dina Flores? Good evening, teacher. Welcome. Okay. On my last vacation, I um, I visited. My grandmother in Quetzaltepeque, La Libertad. We, we were cooked shop and was delicious. But it brown tamales. I also want, I also went to meet with some friends I hot beautiful forest. I like to break Praise are in the field, the freshness of the weather. Uh, we found a beautiful waterfall and hot from water. We were walked for four for, for hours. Um, only, only teacher. All right, good enough. Good enough. Just a few observations on your pronunciation. Repeat, repeat, friends. Repeat after friends. me. Friends. 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 What is the singular? What is the singular? Mm -hmm. Friends. A friend. friend. A, A friend. friend. That's one. Uh -huh. A friend. Okay. And the plural is friends. Friends. There you go. Now, the simple Friends. present, the verb, the verb is fine. F-I-N-D. F-I-N-D. Find. 
So the Fine. simple past, the pronunciation is found. Uh, found. Found. And found. the simple past is the same past participle. So that's a that's an easy one. Um, also, okay. you can say um, we were walking. We were walking for hours, right? We were walking. Um, nice job overall. Congratulations. Let me go with um, let me see. Teacher. My pleasure. Edith Guzman. Go ahead, Edith Guzman. Are you there? Yeah, teacher. Sorry? Me, teacher, me. <laughs> me, teacher. Go, Miss Fuentes. Go for it. Okay. In my last vacation. Okay, again. In my last vacation, I went to the department of Morazam with my family and ate in a restaurant also ate pizza no, my mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i'm trying i'm trying my best <laughs> sorry sir. no worries okay <clears throat> no, ma. in my leg in my ah, ya me trae. In my Relax. last vacation, I went to the department of Morazam with my family and ate in a restaurant, also ate pizza and drank soda. But we did not a beach because are very agglomerate. I was very happy because I was with my grandmother and all my family. Okay, you will say on my last vacation. On my last vacation. Um, also, you will say, but, the conjunction, but we didn't go to the beach because of simple past. The rest is fine. Watch with the background noise. Let me go with someone else. Claudia Garay, are you ready, Claudia? Good evening. Welcome. On my last last vacation, it I was with my family visiting the mountains. It is a very re relaxing place. We ate fruits and sandwiches and also drank a lot of juice. At night we sang and talk, talked a lot a lot. It was great. The next day the didn't were wake up early. I'm sorry, can you repeat the last the last part? The next day, we didn't wake up early. Good, 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 good enough. Okay, the corrections are, again, vacation, vacation, that word, vacation. Huh? relaxing places, because you were talking about plural, um, relaxing places, and also, again, fruits, fruits fruits um also the verb talked talk in simple present talk t-a-l-k right conversation talk the simple past is talked it has a t sound okay we talked a lot platicamos mucho and it was great it was great all right thank you so much ladies let's go with the gentlemen let's go gentlemen let's start with oscar cruz in my last vacation i went to visit some friends in charate and we went to eat to the pizza the next day we went 
to the Costa del Sol beach, and there, and there we have fresh fish for lunch. That's it? Yes. That's it. All right, all right. Um, only in the beginning, you say on my last vacation. On you guys last, continue saying oh, in my last oh, vacation, but it's on my last vacation. On my last vacation. Correct, correct. Um, that's the only correction. That's the only correction that we have, okay? So let me see another gentleman, Francisco. <laughs> good evening, teacher. Yes. Good evening, everyone. For the last day, my home, but here goes, okay? Uh, here we have the last day, okay? Here we have the last day, okay? Here we have the last day, okay? My inventing vacation, on my last vacation, I went with my mother to the beach, La Libertad. We had money, the oldest team. We went to the scene, Sunset Park, and with very few people. So we went uh, to take beach, beach, sorry, <laughs> besides the early money stand. We could not take a bath. At around 6 p.m., we returned at home. Sounds <laughs> good, sounds good, sounds good. I see you have practiced. That's good. Congratulations. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Let's go with another one. Midal Mejia, go ahead. Turn on your mic. Good evening, evening teacher. Good evening. Um, my last vacation, vacation I went with my family to the beach. Um, then I went to visit my mother. She lived in Santiago Manuel, La Paz. I did not, I did not, I did not go to the fire because I did not, I like where is it was stylish. I visited went to the green field and clean the volcano. Yes, only. Only that. There is a little noise, like a TV noise in the background, so it was a little difficult to understand. But the corrections that I could cut, uh, that I could catch, I'm sorry, was vacation, and she lives, your mother, she lives in Santiago Nonualco, okay? Okay. Thank you so much. She lives. She lives in she lives with S. She, she lives. lives. Yes. She lives. Thank okay. you so much, Vidal. Let's go with Jose Enriquez. Go ahead, sir. Welcome to the class. Jose. Hi, everyone. Well, in my last vacation, I stayed at home most of most of the time. I ate a lot of snacks and I saw a lot of television. In fact, I watched two season series, but I didn't stay at home the whole time. I went to the movie theater, and after that, I went to visit some friends. We enjoyed talking about almost everything, and that's it. I didn't do uh, uh, much. much. <laughs> Nicely done, Jose. Congrats. Good, good pronunciation. Um, only one observation. Okay, when you talk about television, you have to use the verb watch, okay? All the time, okay? Watch. Okay, thank you. Good job overall. Congratulations. Let me see. We have Eliseo Flores. Are you ready, sir? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's rock and roll, my boy. Okay. Uh, let me tell you on my last vacation. Uh, well, we have a, a group on, about motorcycles with my co-worker. And uh, on my last, last vacation, we went to a route. And we went to... Ilovasco, 
Chalate and Aguilares. Mm. Well, uh, we went to to eat. Sorry, we ate in a place that and um, they sold the Honduran food. It, it was delicious. Because like baleadas, like baleadas. No, it was pollo a la tajada, and uh, it was delicious because I never had eaten that food. But uh, we, when we came back at home, it was raining. Mm. It was um, crazy, but it was funny at the same time. Uh, I didn't go to the beach because on vacation, I don't like to go to the beach because there are a lot of people. And I think uh, I don't enjoy it the same. Outstanding performance, Mr. Flores. Congratulations. I have no observations for you because everything was right. Um, special congrats for you. Your English level is up to date. Keep it up, okay? Jose, um, Eliseo, Ingrid, uh, Michelle, you really rock and roll. So let's let's keep it up with that pronunciation, okay? Thank um, you. A pleasure. Let's see. Let me go with... Salvador, Bernal, go ahead, sir. Good evening. On my last vacation, I went to a new city called New Sparta. My friend and I ate meat with potato. We played soccer and we went to a slippery lake. My son and I went to the pools. It was a very, a very fun time. We saw light and light in the middle of the world. Okay, 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 okay. So, um, vacation again, vacation. Um, when you uh, said we went to sleep, you better say we went to bed. That's more common to say we went to bed. We went to bed, then we went to sleep, okay? We went to bed very late, all right? Thank you. My pleasure, nicely done. Somebody else is pending, somebody else is missing. Veo acá una chica, Joana, que nunca termina de conectarse. Solo dice ahí que está como que loading, 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 but it never happens. Marlon? It only says Marlon. Guys, remember there are some requirements you need to comply with. Uh, number one is attending the class. Number two is having your camera activated. Number three is having participation all the time. Um, it's very important uh, to honor the opportunity that INSA4 is giving you. Remember that INSA4 is absorbing the cost uh, of these classes that you're receiving in the comfort of your home. So let's value that. Uh, let's go ahead and start the class. Thank you for your responsibility. I saw a lot of messages. Since very early in the morning, you were texting messages and I was replying your messages and you continue sending me messages and I was continue working. I love it. I love that connection. Continue doing it like that. It's very important to keep connected. Okay, let's go to tonight's objective. I'm gonna share my screen now. I'm sorry I talk too much. I get excited. I love my class. That's why. Okay, can you see my screen now? Teacher. Yes. Yes. Yes, somebody has a question. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Okay, cool. Thank you. Very well, very well. Here we go. So we have today's objective. Okay, let's see. Let's go for it because we lost a little time right now with this activity. Let me see if this loads fast. There you go. Teacher. Yes. Tell me. Hello? Hola. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Um, yeah, uh, quiero intentarlo. <laughs> no, no participé. <laughs> okay, okay, Miss, quickly, 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 let's do it. Go ahead. 
On my last vacation, I went to visit my parents. My parents. I see movies with my children and a popcorn. I went to church with my mom and my children. My family and and I and I and I pardon, play soccer on the field in my neighbor neighborhood. Good job, means the only observation is the verb C. Uh, you can say uh, saw, right? But um, I was telling you that when it comes about the television, when it comes about the screen of the television, the verb you have to use is watch, okay? So in simple watch. past, will be watched with T, watched. We watched, watched. movies with my watched. children. Mm -hmm. What? All right, yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I cannot continue with the pronunciation exercise because we have to continue with the platform. We need to continue with the next topics. I'm sorry, but thank you for trying. Thank you for doing your best. Let's go with the video. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to ask and answer yes and no questions and WH questions using the verb to be in the past. For example, you'll be able to ask the following questions. Were you born in this city? When were you born? Where were you born? So we're gonna to try to make sense of these two questions that you see there on the left. Where were you born? Were you born in Buenos Aires? And the first thing that... Um... Wait, this is yesterday. Just give me one second, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, this is working slow. Here we go again. This is the nice objective. I'm sorry, guys. Here we go. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to discuss your childhood habits using used to. Let me give you a couple of examples. When I was a kid, I used to be very messy, but now I'm very neat. I used to have a lot of hobbies, but now I don't have any free time. I didn't used to follow politics, but now I read the newspapers every day. You'll also listen to a short conversation, which illustrates how this topic is used. Let me get started by presenting some structure. As I mentioned, what we're going to do is we're going to try to become familiar with the usage of used to. And in this class, what we're going to do is we're going to become familiar with making positive statements and negative statements using used to. So here are a couple of examples that we want to learn. I used to collect comic books. I didn't used to collect anything, but now I collect art. Um, and I'm just borrowing the examples that are here, but of course, I'll give more details about this in just one second. But the first thing that I would like to do at this time is that I would like to have you listen to a conversation and you will learn how this topic is used and after that I'm going to start explaining how to structure these sentences together. Okay, let me stop right there. Let me stop right there. It says use, use to, use to, that's the pronunciation, use to refers to something that you regularly did. Yes? No more. No more. It's something that you regularly did in the past. Yeah? But you don't anymore. Yeah? For example, I used to be very messy. Do you understand messy? The meaning of messy? No? Yes, I is know. The, is the, Como is, torpe. It, wait, it's like the opposite of organize. Do you understand organized? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, so messy is the opposite. Okay, the so the example says, I used to be very messy. I used to be, yeah? But now 
I am very neat. Neat. Organized. Yeah? Yeah. Understand? So this is like, like an activity that I used to do or I used to be in my past. And this is the present. Right? Um, question. Did you used to collect things? Uh, yes. I used to collect comics. I used to collect comics. That means that in the present, he doesn't do it anymore. Yeah. Um, and the negative expressions. Let's continue with the video. So let's do that right now. Let's listen to that conversation that I'm talking about. Thanks for taking the time to speak with me, Jerry. Oh, it's my pleasure. You have a beautiful accent. Where did you grow up? I grew up in England, in a city called Brighton. Were you popular when you were growing up? Not really. I wasn't unpopular, but I wasn't in the popular crowd at school. I had a nice group of friends, though. How did you like school? Oh, I loved school. I was a great student. My mother actually taught at my primary school. I always thought that was terrific. What about your free time as a child? Did you have a hobby? I used to love to draw. Later I learned to paint, and I still do that. Actually, I have some paintings in a gallery right now. That's impressive. Well, it's a very small exhibit, but it's something I really enjoy. Did you have a favorite game when you were growing up? I used to play video games a lot as a kid. The video games then were very different from the games now. I didn't have a favorite, though. I liked a lot of them. What about a favorite place? Hmm, my favorite place. I used to go to a summer camp in Ireland. I loved that. I got to go horseback riding almost every day. Do you still go to Ireland? No, not very often. Let me start by explaining this chart. First of all, let me just get the concept out of the way. Used to refers to something that you regularly did in the past, but you don't do that anymore. And let me get started by explaining positive statements. So what I'm going to do at this time, I'm just going to put the formula here and we're going to try to make sense of the positive statements that are outlined there for us. So what we're going to do at this time is we're, we're going to borrow that first example that you see there. So we have I is the subject and then this follows used to and then we're going to have the verb. It's going to be in the present. So I used to and in this case be. Very messy, but uh, now um, very neat. There. Check that out, guys. It's very easy. It's very easy. You're going to start with the subject. Remember, follow the structures, Francisco, class. You need to pay attention in the structure to speak correctly. Subject, used to, the expression, used to, look, used with the D, used to, plus the verb in the present. Why in the present, teacher? Because the past is in the principal verb, yes? And then you can use a compliment. All of these is a compliment, yeah? So I used to be very messy. There we go. So the subject in our sentence is I, I'm gonna go ahead and play with the colors right now. Uh, this follows used to. And then we have the verb to be. Now, this just happens to be the verb that we're using in this example, but it's not always going to be the verb to be. Okay. For example, um, when when I was when I was a kid, I used to be very shy. I used to be very shy especially in front of public. Mm -hmm. Now, not anymore. Yes, así lo pueden finalizar. Now, not anymore. Or now, I am not shy anymore. Yeah. Um, well, um, I used to, I used to go, yeah? I used to go to Santa Ana. 
uh, when I was younger. Yeah, I used to. I used to travel. I used to travel to Santa Ana um, and play soccer. Okay. I used to. I used to drink soda, and now I don't anymore because it's yes, bad. Uh huh. What What do you say, Eliseo? Go ahead. Just lemonade. Just lemonade, orange juice. That's what I drink now. How about you, Eliseo? What is something you used to do in the past, but you don't do anymore in the present? Well, I, I used I used to play soccer with my cousin in the afternoon, and and also I used to be shy, and now I am talkative. Very talkative, very sociable. <laughs> uh, hey, I used to play soccer in, in La Liga de Ascenso when I was a teenager. I okay, used to play soccer. Good. I was good. Now, it's I'm bad. <laughs> hey, can you think about one example, one personal example you used to do in the past, but now you don't do anymore? Can you think about something that you used to do maybe when you were a kid, when you were a teenager, when you were younger? What is something you used to do? I remember I used to eat, guys, this is true. This is true. I used to eat cake when I was a kid. Oh, cake was delicious for me. I used to eat a lot of cake. Now, I don't like cakes. I hate eating cakes. <laughs> what about you? Say it or chat it. Participation time. Let's go. Affirmatives. I used to. I used to take a shower in, in the river and now just in my house. There is, is, I have a question for you. I have a question, Eliseo. Is the river, is it because the river is dry? No, because uh, I don't live in the same in the same place. Thank you. We'll answer. Wait, I have a message here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I I recognize my students. I observe my students, right, Francisco? Uh, what about what about you guys? Tell me, tell me an example, a personal example, maybe true example, something you used to do, but now you don't anymore. Say your example or chat your example now. I'm listening. I have an example. Yes, you owe me. You are in debt. You are in debt with me, Judith. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. When I was a, a teenager, I used to collect key holders. I, I have a lot of key holders. <laughs> really? But, but I, I don't... You don't anymore. anymore. No. I, no. But I don't anymore. But I don't anymore. That's good. You used to collect like key holders. Some people, some people used to collect a uh, coins, right? Like the quarters. Uh huh. Right. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Say your example or chat your example. Ingrid says, when I was a kid, I used to watch television in the evenings after my classes. Oh, that's so sweet. All right, what about you guys? Say it or okay. chat it. Uh -huh. Repeat, please, the significant. In Spanish? I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Yes. See, I don't understand. Eh, es, es an action that happens in the past. Es algo que tú solías hacer en el pasado, pero no lo haces en el presente. Okay. Give me your examples. Okay. Chat it or say it. Me, teacher, in the sample. Go ahead. I used to play basketball, and right now I didn't play. And right now I don't play. I don't play. Anymore. 
All right, good example, Miss. Somebody else, something you used to do in the past, but now you don't anymore. Let me see, Herson says, I used to work in San Salvador, but now I work in Arce City. That's right, Herson, Arce City. Jennifer says, I used to eat meat, but now I eat vegetables. Yes, with the health thing, we got to change our eating habits. Marlon, what is your last name, Marlon? Eh, Paniagua. Paniagua. Please help me put in your complete name because that way Insa4 checks your attendance. Can, do you have an example? Um, I used to drink the coffee, but I drink water. Okay, I used to drink coffee. But I drink water. But, 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 but now. But, but now I drink water. Yes. ¿Me puedes poner todo tu nombre ahí, porfa, para que no te afecte en tu asistencia? Francisco, you have an example. Go for it. Uh, I want to try, teacher. Uh, I want to try. I want try, to sorry, try. Sorry, sorry. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Okay. Uh, you used to play video games every night. Now I can't even stand at 11 p.m. No okay. sé si lo dije bien. Can you repeat, please, Francisco? <laughs> okay. Uh, I I used to play video game every night. Every night. Now I can't even stay at 11 p.m. Okay, no okay, sé si okay. Lo dije bien. Que yes. solía jugar en las noches, pero ahora no aguanto hasta las 11 de la noche. <laughs> okay, now I can't play until 11. Aquí lo now okay. I can't play until 11. Uh, guys, I'm going to disconnect my camera because I'm having problems with the internet connection. I'm sorry about that. Okay. Let's go with the examples, Noemi. Go ahead. Yes. I just to work in the rain, but I am sick. I used to work in the rain. Work, work in the rain. Oh, walk. But walk. Walk. Caminar. Okay. Yes. I used to yes. walk in the rain. But I am, I am sick. But, Pero now, enfermo. but now I can't. Repeat. But ah, now I can't. But now I can't. Because I am sick. Okay. Because but I am sick. Because Francisco I am says, sick. I used Thanks. to play video games every night. Now I can't even stand. Eso es lo que le había dicho, pero now, no sé si pronuncia algo mal. Now I can't. Let me see. Now I can't. Um, stay awake. Stay awake until. 11 p.m. Sí, el inicio está bien, solo agrega la última parte. Somebody has one more example. Okay, Tina sí, sí. Flores. My pleasure. Go ahead. Hey, teacher. I used to sleep very late, but now I sleep 10.30. Okay, I used to go to bed. Go to bed. I used to go to bed very early. Or late, late, late. I'm sorry. I used to go to bed very late. Repeat. I used to bed. I used to go to bed. Go to bed. I used to go bed very late. Later. Very late. Very later. Late. Late. But now... But now, mm -hmm. go. I go to bed. I go to bed. At nine. At nine. Okay, okay, okay. Watch the corrections. Do you have an example for us, Ms. Barrientos? Are you there still? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I used to ride a roller skate, but now I can't do it anymore. You used to uh, ride roller blades? Yes, like, oh, I don't know. Nice. It, it, like, uh -huh. the, like the ones that have like two wheels or, or four wheels? No, I think so. Four. Four wheels? Oh, know. yeah. Those but are in one line. 
in I one mean, line. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hey, that's nice. Ice. Yeah. Okay. Inline skating. That is inline skating. So you used to oh. you used to practice inline skating. Wow. Um now you can't. No. <laughs> no the I balance, can't. the balance is not the same, huh? I think so. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Somebody else has an example. Oscar says, I used to bother. <laughs> Bye, Oscar. I said, yeah, I used to bother much. I used to bother much in class, but not now. <laughs> but now, not anymore. But now, not anymore. Somebody else? Let's go to the negatives. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go to the negatives. And then finally, we're, we're going to have some sort of compliment mm. that... Um, uh, in order to finish that idea there. And so now let's try to make a couple of more examples. So I'm going to mention some of my own. So I used to, and I'm going to say I used to play a lot of sports when I was a kid. Um, and well, we follow the structure. Um, we have a subject. Then this follows used to. Then we have the verb in the present tense and then we have some sort of complement at the end. Now let me present the negative structure. Let me present how we're going to make negative statements. So previously we learned that we can make positive statements with used to. Now we're going to talk about negative statements. The only thing that's going to change to our previous structure is that we're going to include didn't. All right, so that's what I want you to notice. And also, I want you to notice that used to will no longer be in the, uh, it will no longer be in the past. Now, check that out. Check that out. Because in the negative, we're using didn't, use is going to be in present. Remember not to include the letter D here because used to should be in present in this case because this is negative. Now it's going to be in the present, and that's because of this auxiliary verb that you see here. So we're going to have the subject plus didn't, and then used to will be in the present. It's not going to be in the past like we saw it in our positive statements. And the rest will pretty much stay the same. Uh, so the subject plus didn't used to plus the verb in the present, and then whatever complement exists. So in this case, um, we're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and write uh, a couple of examples here. So some of the ones that I mentioned as we began the class. Let me go ahead and give another example here. I'm going to say, I didn't use to collect anything, but I do now. There we go. And there is one last way on how to express negative statements, and that is using never used to. And it's quite similar. So let me give you an example about this. I never used to play sports, okay, but now I play every day. So we can also make negative statements using never used to. Okay, so the subject plus never used to, and that's going to follow the verb in its present form, and then whatever complement exists. I never used to play sports. I never used. Now remember that in the negative, we are expressing the opposite. Yes, we are expressing the opposite. For example. Here, I didn't use, I didn't used to follow politics. I didn't used to follow politics, but now I read the newspaper. I watch uh, the television. I watch the news. Yeah. Another one. I didn't used to collect anything, but, but, but I do now. This is another compliment, but I do now, yeah? So right now we're going to create 
three examples. We're going to create three examples with our class as a class. So let me just share. Let me just share my screen so we can do a little a little practice. Let me see. We don't have, let me see, we have only nine minutes. We have only nine minutes. Okay, let me see. Okay, there you go. Give me one second. Okay, so I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna use this um, base so we can work together. Okay, guys, let's create affirmative examples first. I'm gonna create one affirmative example. Uh, class, give me a subject. Give me a subject, class. Hi. Thank you. What's next? Never. Uh, Affirmative. I used to. Used to. Correct. I used in past. I used to. And now you need an expression in present. I used to work. For example, I used to work in this company, but now I don't. Yeah, I used to go to a discotheque. Yeah, but now I don't anymore. So give me give me an example here. I used to play soccer. Okay, I used to play soccer. But, but, but now. Now? No, not now. I don't. Okay. That's an affirmation. That's an affirmative. I used to play soccer. In the past, I used to the I used to do this activity, but in the present, I don't. Yeah? I don't. Okay. Okay, let's make one more example. Come on. I next. I used, used to. Used to. Used uh -huh. to dance, merengue. dance merengue, okay. <laughs> dance merengue music. Uh huh. Continue. But now. Yeah, the reggaeton. <laughs> okay how about that how about that i used to dance yeah. merengue music but now it's too difficult for me <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay what about negatives what about negatives let's make two negatives i didn't didn't, didn't. okay didn't. i like that oops didn't didn't and the very present i didn't use used to the pronunciation is la misma guys no se preocupen ahí used i didn't used to bother very in class teacher speak in, in, in teacher ah. eh, y que en, en los anteriores no le había puesto el tú por eso tenía dudas si era solo use mm. i didn't use Okay, okay, okay. Y ahora sí. Sí, ahí está. I didn't use to speak English. Okay. And now. Huh? And now? No. Uh, I do. I, I am I in the intermediate uh, level what's up that's you pamper your back pamper your back pamper yourself mimense right your intermediate level okay let's make one more one more negative one more negative i i never ah yeah i i never used to thank you i never use oops used to help me i never used to use without d right or, or you put the d i put the d okay mm -hmm. 
es, es something you never used to do. Es algo que tú nunca solías hacer, pero que ahora sí lo haces. Can you think about that? What is, ¿qué, es eso, ¿Qué es eso que ahora haces que antes no hacías? Ah, what is that? Exercise. Exercise, ok. That's a good one. I never used to exercise. Mm. Uh, yeah. Mm. Continue. But now, okay. I love. But now, <laughs> I, love I love to go to the gym. Ok, to go to the gym. Outstanding. Outstanding. I love I love it. I love I love Fíjense que aquí el recuerden que aquí es infinitivo o oh, uh, gerund. I love eating. Mm -hmm. Healthy for example. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Homework for tomorrow. One affirmative example using used to, one negative example using didn't used to, and one example using I never used to. A bitch? A bitch, people? Do you understand yeah. the homework? Okay. Yes. Easy. It's a big homework, okay? It's very, very easy. One affirmative example. I used to, okay? One negative example, I didn't use to. And one additional example using I never used to. Make it personal, make it interesting so we can know you a little better, okay? You have any question? Comment? No. Okay, no questions. No questions. No. No question. Okay. In that case, I'm going to make Teacher. questions for you. Huh? Repeat homework. Repeat the homework. <laughs> okay, no problem. Let me chat it right here. I'm going to chat you the homework, okay? One example using used to. One example using never used to. And one example using didn't used to donde no va a llevar la de solo en el negativo I didn't used to ok yes so Ingrid did you like tonight's class did you did you did you learn something tonight teacher I have a question <laughs> yes go uh, ahead tomorrow uh, uh, Hey, that's a very good question, sir. Sorry, sorry for speaking Spanish. <laughs> good question. <laughs> uh, no, guys, remember that we will have two additional classes, and that's going to be. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Yes, let me see. Teacher. Dice fecha de ejecución del 11 a de octubre al 4 de noviembre, viernes 14 de octubre y viernes 4 de noviembre. Sí, habrán clases. Tenemos clase mañana. We have class tomorrow, guys. I'm sorry. Yes. 